What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we're in Pewaukee, Wisconsin, and we're getting ready to check out another beautiful model from West Ridge Builders. So let me turn you around, I'll tell you all about it. So this is the Stratton 2, and it features four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, a three car garage, which I absolutely love these garage doors. I think they look really cool, just a little different. You know what I mean? Something, something to spice it up a little bit. But all of that sits inside of approximately 4,180 square feet. It's almost like a craftsman if you think about it. You've got these huge brick columns, you've got the wood up there, and then you've got some shake shingle siding, and all of that looks super cool. Now if you are interested in this home, there is no price, but most of the homes in this neighborhood are going for north of $1.2 million. With that though, let's get inside and ooh, that door, see what all we can find. All right, man, compared to the other two models that we've toured, I feel like they went completely different direction with this one. Still, no less beautiful though. But uh, when you do first walk in, of course, you are greeted by this magnificent, great room. You've got the vaulted ceilings, the exposed beams, tons of windows. Whew, it just, it gets me going, you know what I mean? And now that is even carried here into the foyer too, which is pretty cool. So you got this nice big chandelier as you walk into the home, tons of windows, and then the floors in here, it's like they progressively get darker and darker as we go through the model. Anyway, just just something I've, I've noticed. But a uh, few different things happening in the foyer. We'll start over here on the right-hand side. Looks like we've got a little coat closet. And then back behind us is the powder room. I like this. It's a little different in the fact that, you know, just as soon as your guests come in, all of the, like, the powder room is up towards the front of the house. They don't even have to, to go real far. Nice single vanity. And a little 45 degree wall right there gives it a little, a little something extra. Then on the opposite side, you've got this sliding barn door that uh, opens up into this flex room which is currently set up like an office got like a rich christmasy green almost like a pine green color going on in here it's the color of money because you're going to need it to get this house <laughs> And then from there, we'll come back out into the foyer and check out this living room. So they got a security camera out front and, uh, and they came around and opened up all the doors for me. But I saw this car and I was like, man, I still gotta start, I gotta film this home before you come in here and close it up, you know what I mean? I don't do well when someone's around me and I'm filming. Uh, so I saw that, and then I walked out front, and no one was there. I was like, <laughs> uh, awkward. Anyway, beautiful living room, though. I love this fireplace, dude. This is the second one that we've seen where the TV is kind of inserted into the fireplace, which is cool. But then, if you ever go to upgrade, you're never going to be able to get a bigger TV, you know what I mean? Unless you set it over the top of it. But that is all surrounded by... Tons of windows, got the fireplace down below it, and we'll get in this corner and check out the views back into the kitchen. It's got a really nice kitchen. I love the, it's just like little accent cabinets, you know what I mean? Just a little different. But you got a huge island. Plenty of space for seats. Stools, you could probably fit like six stools over here. And then on the back side, got the dishwasher. Under mount sink, looking back out into the living room. Trash can drawer. All of which is soft clothes. And then on the back side, we've got the 
refrigerator, the range, the range hood. Some nice tile backsplash, built-in microwave and oven. And then all the way past that, you come into the dining room. You got a tray ceiling, that farmhouse light. That's, that one's got the most lights I've ever seen in one of these. And then this one looks like it's got a little step-down patio. We'll go ahead and check this out before we get into the rest of the kitchen. Oh my goodness. So just, I mean, the ceiling out here goes forever. You could probably put a fire pit back here and never have to worry about catching a house on fire. Just kidding, don't do that. But you got a nice little theater set up. It's got some surround sound, at least some speakers. Probably not surround sound, but that'd be pretty cool. Get that out here. And then we'll back up a little bit and check out the rear elevation. And this one definitely matches the front. Uh, I like it because it's got the, it keeps the brick columns back here, you know what I mean? With the wood. I just think that looks really neat. All right, getting back into the kitchen. Ooh, it's warm in here too. It's a little chilly outside. I think the high today, it's only like 40 something. So on the opposite side, we've got this huge buffet with all the built-ins. Got some nice drawers. Got a wine chiller. Let's see what these are. There's some little accent lights up there too. And then next to that is the pantry. And then like a little coffee station. All right, now we're gonna, I guess we'll check out the, the garage and stuff. This is kind of like the coat closet back here. cleaning closet and then you've got the door and that's pretty close proximity to the pantry and the kitchen in terms of bringing in groceries I like how this one's kind of set up you got this whole motor court out in front of the house and you also have some attic access in here because this is the first one from Westridge that is a single story ranch i mean it's got the finished basement you know what i mean but i don't think there's i think it's just single story but then right off of the laundry or right off of the garage you also have the laundry room the washer dryer hookups nice big folding table plenty of cabinets and you've got this wash bin too kind of rinse off all the dirty muddy shoes And then you've got, there would be a door here. It looks like they took it off the hinges just to kind of allow the flow. Oh my goodness, fireplace. We have found ourselves in the master bedroom. I wasn't expecting the fireplace in here. Oh my goodness. It's got like a little sitting room in the closet too. So that's cool. That definitely sets a mood. I like the gray in here. I think that looks really good. What in the world? Looks like a closet and like a little parlor area, I guess. Interesting. weird that it has the mirror right there though because you're going to be sitting here you know sipping on your drink and checking yourself out in the mirror Go into the closet and then all the way through the closet you come into the ensuite 
So you've got double vanities. A huge shower, kind of like the infinity tub. So it's okay, you know, overflow that thing. Get the bubbles everywhere. But nice, ooh, it's almost like a, kind of a 3D-ish pattern on the tile too. But it goes all the way up to the ceiling. You've got a little shower head right here. And you've got the long shower head back behind us. That's pretty neat. And then all the way back here is the water closet. Yeah, I kind of wasn't, I wasn't expecting <laughs> the bedroom or the closet to kind of look like that. Kind of caught me off guard a little. From here though, we're gonna go ahead and work our way to the other side where all the secondary bedrooms are. I can't get over the ceilings. But on this side, there are two secondary bedrooms. This over here to the left and the back side of the house is the first of the two. I got a big tray ceiling. Nice and spacious room. And then into its closet, it's got a little pocket door coming here into the closet. This is the shared bathroom. It's not attached to any one of the bedrooms, but just kind of here in the little corridor. Double vanities though, huge. Almost linen closet, maybe medicine cabinet. There's a linen closet behind us. So that's just a place to, to store all the toiletries. All the way at the back is the water closet. So it's got a little pocket door right here too. All right, let's see. What else we got? What else is happening here? Another closet. And then towards the front of the house, this is pretty much the same layout. It's almost identical. This is the second of the secondary bedrooms. Now I am excited to see what is down in the basement because Westridge has been doing it up in these finished basements. Just, you know, obviously the basements are all options, but uh, just what they do with them really gives you some cool ideas, you know what I mean? So if you were to go and finish yours. But anyway, we'll go ahead and uh, swoosh down there real quick. Swoosh, like that. Oh, it's big too. Now, if you are interested as we're walking through this home in Westridge or this model, uh, you can click that link right there at the top of the description. Or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans we've toured across the country. See if they're built in your area. Filter based off the number of bedrooms, square footage, all different types of things to find that perfect dream home for you. Watch the tour like you are right now and then reach out to the builder and get your dream home underway. Man, let me tell you. <laughs> Given that, I'm over here kind of scanning and perusing. Well, that's an interesting spot to put a refrigerator kind of around the corner. There are tons of things down here. My goodness. We'll start over here though. You've already seen the bar area. This is your utility room. So you've got furnace, water heater. I see the electric panel back there. All the brains. I think that's about it. wonder if sump, oh, there it is, sump pumps over in the corner. All right. So there is one other bedroom down here, which we'll check out before we go check out all the goodies. And that is right here. Kind of a cool little reverse tray. Very, very minute, though. This would be like a good little guest room. More for like older kids, you know what I mean? 
or if you're throwing some big shin digs and you know somebody just needs a place to to call it a night <laughs> but then right next to that is another bathroom huge single vanity right here toilet and then this one's got a shower and tub all right time for the good stuff I don't know if y'all saw any of it as I was kind of panning around a little bit, but you've got this huge open space right here. You can do a number of things with, then you've got the sliding, the double sliding barn doors that open up into this big old room, which is currently set up like a little theater room, which is pretty neat. You've got your own little snack station over here. Ooh, some Mykonites. Love that. I am not a fan of Swedish fish. My boys like Swedish fish. I think Jen likes Swedish fish, but no thank you. Give me Mykonites all day long. But if you got some chocolate-covered raisins, that's going to be my first pick. You know what I mean? But just a cool little place to hang out. And then I saw some other stuff around the corner, too. You got another little area for some things foosball table that's becoming very popular in these models seeing a lot of them and then all the way at the back got a little gym room a little yoga room i'm sure you could turn this into you know whatever you wanted to and then it even has a closet All right, let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you do, again, want any more information on this model or West Ridge Builders, click that link right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to tour this home with me today. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic day. And as always, my name is Timothy. I look forward to seeing your beautiful face in the next one.